Laramie Tunsil, two sacks allowed in 450 plus pass blocking snaps last season. That is pretty good. And DJ is right. He doesn't get a whole lot of attention. But according to our mm -hmm. analytics expert, Cynthia Freeland, he's not alone in that department. You've got an article up right now on NFL.com about the NFL's most underappreciated players. How do you define that, by the way, from an analytics point of view? Well, of course, I have to make a whole model for it. So okay. I took out all the rookies because we don't know who they are yet. I took everyone out who's been to two or more Pro Bowls. So two is the absolute maximum. I adjusted it for salary. We can't have the highest paid guys there. And of course, they couldn't have been drafted in the first or second round. So okay. third or after. OK, so who fits that bill? The number one in my model. So the contribution metric. That's the amount of times that they help their team win the most. Center, Jason Kelsey from the Philadelphia Eagles. But he is tracking how often Me. they keep Computer people vision. five. What? Yes. <laughs> I, have, I have a lot of, like, ex I have a really exciting social life. Next level. Uh, any skill <laughs> position players make this cut? Yep. So I'm looking at former Buck, now Titan, Adam Humphreys from opposing defenders. So measure that one, too. He did it the fifth most of any slot receiver. Five feet or more. Yeah. I, yeah. This, I'm boggled that this actually <laughs> happens from a metric standpoint. How about defense? Yep, so I'm looking at Akeem Hicks from the Bears. So obviously we know there's a very appreciated guy on the perimeter. PFF and I agree here they rank him ninth at pressuring quarterbacks and second at stopping the run. Very interesting stuff here. And there are a few more names that we haven't mentioned that you can find on NFL.com slash Freeland.